Yes, America, Tom Cruise is actually going to fly onto a big screen near you. A year after the 2020 summer movie season evaporated before Hollywood's eyes as COVID-19 sent the entertainment industry into chaos, people are getting vaccinated, shuttered movie theaters are humming back to life and it's not just the weather that seems a bit sunnier and brighter. I think we're going to have a summer movie season. We're definitely on the right track, says Paul Dergarabedian, senior media analyst for Comsca. Plus, heading into April, more than half of America's movie theaters, including New York City and LA screens, are back in business. AMC Theaters, the largest chain in America, has reopened 98% of their cinemas in Regal, the second largest, is beginning its reopening April 2nd to house Godzilla vs. Kong as it crashes into theaters Wednesday. Sure, it won't be the $4.3 billion summer of 2019 but it also likely won't be akin to a dismal 2020 season that saw just $176.5 million in box office. There are some heavy hitters on the docket, including, A Quiet Place Part 2, May 28, F9, June 25, and, Top Gun, Maverick, July 2, plus films like, Cruella, May 28, Black Widow, July 9, and, The Suicide Squad, August 6, hitting theaters and streaming services simultaneously. And you won't have to wait. Starting with, Nobody, this week. We are entering a period where we are going to have bigger movies back in theaters on a regular basis, says Fandango.com managing editor Eric Davis. Here's what fans itching to get back to theaters need to know about this summer at the movies. Theaters are operating at limited capacity, dependent on various states' COVID protocols. In California currently, it's at 25% or 100 people per screen, whichever's less and getting closer to 50% capacity across the country is an important factor, says Jeff Bach, senior box office analyst for Exhibitor Relations. That may happen by the start of summer, as long as we stay on track and people get vaccinated. Dergarabedian thinks there will be some growing pains at the beginning. But if consumers are feeling more confident about going back to the movies, studios will feel more confident about releasing major projects, he says. Bottom line is you need a lot of theaters open in order to offset the cost of a blockbuster, and that's why they've been waiting on some of these movies over a year. Modern blockbusters usually mark the start of summer movie season in late April, but like the 1990s, we're back to Memorial Day being the kickoff with John Krasinski's Quiet Place sequel. That movie will have a chance to stick around for audiences to see at their leisure until things get ramped up with F9 a month later. Bach predicts this year will feel like the days of Ghostbusters, Gremlins, and the original Top Gun, in the 80s, with hits that played all summer long. There was competition, but not as much.